Every book I've ever read about the craft of storytelling always states that the main character in the story must have an arc. While I agree with the idea that a character arc is essential for a story, I definitely do not agree with the sentiment that the main character must always develop. Hear me out, okay? The flat arc. The poster boy for stories where the protagonist doesn't develop is the flat arc. It's a story where the main protagonist stays the same internally from the first moment to the very end. This flat arc tale has one crucial key that defines it from the change in arc. The protagonist is fully developed. Moreover, because the protagonist is fully developed, a morally perfect character in other words, we have to somehow make it intriguing. And to do that, we have to utilize the lie the character believes, or in the case of an already morally perfect character, the truth the character believes. First, we must understand the logic behind the flat arc protagonist. So you see, people love change in these stories. It doesn't necessarily have to be the main character. They're just addicted to change because that is engaging for some reason. I don't know why, but it's engaging to see things change in the world of the story. That's the key word. The world of the story. The hero is in the world of the story. So if he or she change, you're good and the end of the result will be euphoria for the reader. However, if that doesn't happen, you can achieve the same satisfaction by changing the world surrounding the protagonist, the story will still be as engaging. So what is the lie the hero believes? In change arcs that are positive, where the protagonist goes through some struggle to rid of the weakness, the driving force of that struggle and thus the eventual change is derived from the lie the hero believes. In Good Will Hunting for instance, Will is the protagonist and he has a problem. He is reclusive and doesn't want to change, to take opportunities and better his life. People around him give him chances, job offers and whatnot. Will, however, is a stubborn of change because of his abusive childhood. He has internalized that doing something new and uncomfortable will lead to some problem that he doesn't want to deal with. That is the lie he believes. He isn't willing to start new ventures. In a story with a change in arc, specifically a positive change in arc, such as Goodwill Hunting, the characters surrounding the hero exemplify what he doesn't have. They have overcome the weakness the protagonist suffers from and thus act as good sources to teach the protagonist about the lie he believes. Eventually, Willie's stubbornness is broken when he is finally cornered by Professor Gerald. He has no more excuses. His lies, the stuff he has been feeding himself his entire life, it's all laid out in front of him and is therefore forced to accept change. This is the result. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me. It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me, all right? Don't fuck with me, Sean, not you. It's not your fault. <laughs> in stories with flat arcs, this dynamic of the protagonist believing in the lie and the supporting cast believing in the truth is witches. It is now the protagonist who doesn't believe in the lie. The supporting cast of characters, however, believe in the lie. This is why sometimes the flat arc is called the testing arc. Throughout the story, the protagonist will be opposed by those who believe in the lie and they will test the protagonist's conviction in the truth. The protagonist will at times be shaken, reach a low point of faith in his or her ideals. However, ultimately, the protagonist prevails to change the world surrounding them. This is where the conflict and thus the plot of the flat arc comes from. The heroes strive to change those around him or her. The negative change, such as the one in Godfather or in the taxi driver, stems from from failure to uphold the truth, resulting in joining the supporting cast of characters and becoming as flawed as they are. My last project, for example, was about a negative change arc. Darnell believes in the innate nature of people to be good to each other and to give as much as is possible. Eventually, he fails to uphold this innate understanding because of an encounter he has with a rich man. This asshole was the final nail in the coffin and he thereafter succumbs to crime, just another black dude waving a gun around the hood. This negative change stems from failure to uphold the truth, so a flat arc is best written once one understands the various forces of character arcs. The flat arc, the most famous one, is no internal change and believing in the truth rather than the lie. The positive arc, the second most famous, is internal change after getting rid of the lie. The negative arc, the least famous, is failure to uphold the truth. My favorite example of a flat arc story is from Dostoevsky's The Idiot. In it, this guy, whose name I failed to pronounce more than 10 times, is, to put it mildly, a morally perfect guy. Not a sip of hatred is in his heart. He is so kind and after a while, they start to see him a bit sketchy. What does he want? Why is he always so happy? Clearly this guy has some ulterior motives. Some of them start thinking he is some sort of an idiot, thus the title. The protagonist is tested on his Christ-like morals and he has to go through a number of tests to either do 
do one of two things remain strong of his beliefs and as a result change those around him or in the case of the negative arc start out morally perfect and fail to uphold that ideal to become like the flawed character surrounding him another famous example is hunger games in it Cadness everdeen lives in a world with strict rules where the wealthy look down on those who are at the bottom she knows of them and does whatever she can to not fall for the lies the deception if you have paid attention you notice that almost everyone around her pretty much believes in the propaganda the lie almost everyone though all of them are so core struck by the propaganda that they will never revolt. There are plenty of more excellent examples. The gladiator for one is perfect. Maximus throughout the movie does not change morally. His social hierarchy may change, but he does not as a person. They call for you. The general, he became a slave. The slave who became a gladiator. The gladiator who defied an emperor. Striking story. Six million ways to die. Choose one. He wants Rome to be what it was. He at times doubts his ability to restore Rome to what it was. However, he always defeats those doubts and prepares to die for his belief. The truth everyone around him either doesn't believe or is not willing to act upon. To write a flat arc story, one must do two things. First, establish the truth. What does the protagonist believe in? This is a two-parter. You must first teach yourself this truth in the drafting phase of the story. Second, you must teach this truth to the audience by characterizing the protagonist in the first arc. Also, in the first arc, once you establish the truth and the protagonist's belief in it, you must lay out the opposition, aka the test. It can be whatever. However, it must challenge the protagonist's faith in the truth. For all I care, this cutesy little fluffy cat could be the challenge up the mountain. As long as the protagonist is whipped, I'm glad. So once you lay out the truth and the opposing parties to that truth, you can go ahead and finish the story. So to recap, the flat arc is possible and it has two elements, the truth and the test. The truth is held by the protagonist and the test is presented as the opposing force that will shake the protagonist's belief in the truth. If the protagonist succeeds to uphold the truth, they will inevitably change those around them. If, however, they fail to uphold the truth, then they will become flawed and will have to go up Mount Olympus to become virtuous. In other words, the positive arc all over again. So that's it for this video. I hope you took something out of it. Have a nice one.